Okay, so let's get this done. Um, we just only have two uh, exercises this um, afternoon involving uh, LRC, La Response Curve, and also CO2 Response Curve. So in essence, we're going to use your plants from earlier today, which has been under the magical chamber in here, to prevent them from sleeping. Because C3 plants, that's got an issue. We, we call it midday depression. Whether they receive enough light water or not, 12 until 2 p.m., they're going to sleep. Sure, they're going to sleep. This is nothing to do with lack of love or anything like that. Because it's tightly ingrained in the genetic control. Um, right. <clears throat> so, your machine, I think, is sleep now. Right. So, let's quickly go through uh, this um, slide here. So, it should start from this light response curve. Um, what I need to, for you to do is, um, you need to do the setting as um, instructed here. We're going to do the light response curve first. Because your plant is rather um, tropical and high light tolerant, I think we will start the light response curve at 1500 uh, micromole. Okay? <clears throat> and the information that we use from the plant, you know what? Just for the sake of activity, we use 2000. That's it. Because if we find there is a photo inhibition pattern, then uh, it's good for interpretation. Right. Okay. Right. Light response curve, we understand from yesterday, we want to obtain a number of uh, information such as maximum photosynthesis rate, um, apparent quantum yield, dark respiration, and, and, and also uh, light compensation point. Okay. And then after you have done with light response curve, um, hopefully we can do for two plants for each group. The, um, the same plant, one that has been exposed to the light, I mean on the outer canopy, another leaf in the inner side of the canopy to represent sheet leaf. Right. So when done with that, we move to the response curve, ACI response curve, based on the finding. Um, we can see on the graph later, which is the saturating light point start. If the light actually start to saturate at, at around uh, 1500, then we use this 1500 micromole of light for setting in the CO2 response curve. And then we're going to run it again. All right, let's start with the LRC. If your machine is asleep, wake that up. Awaken, awaken, awaken. <sighs> Okay, for the flow, you can set according to the suggestion on the manual. Uh, both group, you don't use your own judgment as long as within reach. Right, set it first. <laughs> uh, either one, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You you can decide whether you want to use sample or yep. <laughs> okay. So after you have set all these environmental controls, you need to go to this configure measuring beam. I think you don't have to change this as well because you have done it before. And after that, you need to go here actually. Yeah, this. So set the environmental and the fluorometry, if any. And then you will come to this page under the auto programs. This is very important before you start the light response curve.
You know what? Uh, we need to acclimate the leaf actually first in the in the chamber. Can you immediately clamp your leaf right now? Okay, because it has been away from the light now. Can you do that? Please, please pay attention. Clamp your leaf right now because it's going to take time. It's it's in the afternoon. You uh, you need to clamp it under the light condition. You don't want it to to go back to sleep. Okay, make sure that your you have clamped your leaf in there. And then double check the environmental setting that they are correct. Then only you go to the auto program setting. Here you need to do the light setting. You can follow whatever's written on the screen starting from 2000. To do light response curve, we go from the highest value to the lowest value, which is zero. Not the other way around, okay? Okay, uh, in here it says that minimum weight is 60 seconds. You can change the maximum weight to uh, 100 seconds, not 180. 180 is actually a bit too long. You just wait, uh, 100. Okay. <sighs> Okay, after you're done, make sure that you have created the file. New file, okay? Not any old file. Within the same folder, create a new file for this light response curve activity. One leaf, one file. If you want to test for the second leaf, create another file. Because you're going to get multiple reading now. We don't, we don't want to jumble up everything together. <laughs> Your chili already falling down. You're ready for Tom Yum. Hmm, sebab tadi pokok tu dah berat sangat. Hmm. Apa tu over like a overbearing mother. One mom, twelve kids, all all triplets. <laughs> Okay, if you if you're done, create the file. After you have created the file, then you need to go to the measurement tab to see the stability of your leaf. The moment your leaf has stability in such a way that you have seen during the le lesson of survey measurement, then only you start the 
both to proc. Is it stable? If it's not stable, you cannot start. Your first light point should be the same as what you set. If you set 2000, your light should be 2000 now. <laughs> Remember, okay, it's very important. Look, look back at your environmental controls. If we set the first point as 2000 micromol, therefore your environment light now should be 2000. That's very slow. Uh, very, very. Or do you want to use the corn? Um, because we got money corn, Ilana. You know what? You know what? I think and because uh, these plants they are fruit bearing, so the photosynthesis is rather low now. Why don't you change to corn? Use your corn, money corn. Corn. Jangan buang corn, ambil corn. Kalau tak nanti, your response curve going to look funny and funky. And then you will be very sad. Use corn. Use corn. Use corn, not the disease or senescing. Use, use, use the, the most brilliant one. Corn ada dekat tepi kolam. Siapa tolong pergi ambil? Ha, tolong, tolong, tolong. This this is expected okay for the chili because it's it's uh, bearing lots of fruit right now. Okay, use the corn, easy. Remember before you clam, wipe first. Because it just came from the outside, you do not know what kind of uh, thing that might have landed on the leaf. Okay, after you have chosen the leaf, you have wiped the leaf, then you can immediately clamp. Okay, and make sure the light now is 2000, micromole. Then wait for a few minutes. After it has stabilized, then you can start your auto program. Make sure your auto program is set as you see on the screen now. 2500. Yep. Uh, kejap. I think ada letak satu poin lagi kot missing. Uh, 2000 uh, 1700. Se 1700. That's that's a one point missing. Uh, lepas tu 1300. Ah, uh, baru 1000. Yep. Tu pun tertinggal lagi tu. Poin kena satu lagi 700. Yep. Uh, 400 tak payah. Yeah. So the rule of thumb is you need the minimum of 10 points. 10 points is actually the uh, the decent uh, observation point for a beautiful curve. <laughs> minimum 10, you can go more. If you go more, it, it's going to be longer. But more precise. So minimum wait time 60 seconds and then maximum waiting time 100 seconds. Uh, early match is, is uh, you can check that as well. So make sure that your assimilation has stabilized and stomata is not closed.
How's your plan doing? Is it still going on? Is it still has it stabilized? Can you give a bit more time? I don't think you should start lagging. Like You know, cancel, cancel this file. I'm confused because it's it's already logging something too. Hello, Oh, okay. Forty-five degree. You, you need to see that it's not forty-five degree. The moment this, kalau this region dah mula relax, dia dah sikit sudut dia tu turun, then you know it's towards uh, stabilizing. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, I think I think uh, just just give it uh, another um, a minute or so, then then you, you double it up. <laughs> so what are the stabilizers? Okay, how about this group? A versus <laughs> Have you set the graph? Set lah. No, you need to look at look at the the manual. You need to follow that. Okay, give extra one minute. I think you can start. Looks good. Ah, uh, set the graph. No, of course, blah blah set graph.
What are you looking for? Hmm. Yeah. Is it stable? Is it stable? Ah, okay. <clears throat> your your stomata kind of not completely open eh? mm -hmm. Look at look at the leaf. Sometimes when you use leaf macam ni, the hydrostatic pressure dalam leaf has been compromised. Sebab dia ada broken. Kind of like when you chop off your hand, darah menyembur kan? Macam macam tu. Um, hmm. Hmm, ah, macam ni tak apalah Nampak dia cantik lagi kan Bukan bukan tak boleh Dia dia ada compromise pressure dalam tu Tak tak, tak. Uh, Leaf 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 ni patutnya Dia ada pressure dia sendiri Semua leaf ada pressure Dah kita pada darah tinggi kan Darah tinggi pula Apa pula pressure So Bila ada satu bahagian dah terpotong Tak ada potong pun Tu ah. Uh, ya, yeah. untuk belajar selalunya kita guna yang daun elok lah Kalau untuk study tak apa Maybe you belalang just eat last night nah, That's fine Ah, uh, tak apa, just, just, just the way it is So tadi before you unclamp it was four right? So stay on this leaf. It should be higher than four. The A value. Yeah, yeah, the A value. Sebab tu kita um, avoid uh, damage leaf, uh, especially especially because if that's not your treatment. Hmm, tengok sekejap je. Cik Azal boleh catching up. 45 degree. Ah, tunggu sekejap. <laughs> Sampai dia relax sikit. So, so after you have started, uh, buat lalu. Dia macam ni tau. Some plants, if the leaf has been damaged by herbivore punya predation, they will form callus at the wound surface tu. Tapi kalau pokok tu masih baby, callus ni uh, maybe not forming very well. Sebab dia tengah sibuk nak grow, lepas tu dia, akar dia pun tak banyak lagi. So macam ni, untuk jagung, ini uh, masih dalam kira baby lagi, juvenile state lagi. Untuk untuk jagung. Jadi the moment dia ada luka, dia macam baby lah kan. Uh, dia macam dia susah, uh, immunity tak kuat. Apa? Kau tu kau ke? Oh, that 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 looks that looks healthy ya? Eh? Oh tak cing? Kau tu kau? Atau kau lah? Ah, semata ni lagi tinggi berita tadi. Oh, eh. Tadi zero per zero one right? This is uh, apa? Hundred percent more. Tak tahu kejap. Keras kerasnya tanah. Keras nak kering tanah tadi. Abu tak dia keras dia keras dia dia tak dia tak kering dia keras dia compact compact. Ia boleh boleh betul lah. Cukup ya. Tunggu saya. 
Sebab itu Respon sekarang ni kita buat pagi <laughs> Pokok tu dah pukul 9 pagi Dia mau masuk Sekejap je Ini sebab dah petang uh, Yap I wonder kalau benda tu boleh sampai sini The, the, the light Kita nak main tipu sikit sekarang Uh, make it face there. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hari, sama. Tak macam ni je. Tak macam tu je. Uh, dirikan saja. Itu kena. Kan kena semua ada. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, buka. Buka. Uh, Switch tu. Switch tu. Kita, 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 kita perlahankan sikit. Kita pergi. Ni orang punya relax je. Eh tak 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 ini sebab pokok satu pokok ni mungkin dia tak ada orang tak baca lepas tu warna dia pun lighter green ada possibility sangat tinggi dia tak cukup nitrogen ha. berbanding dengan pokok pokok yang ni dia macam dia punya atas tu lebih hijau ini nampak dia macam lighter sikit hmm, tengok terus naik pada 4 terus jam 5.3 <laughs> Eh, okey betul biar je. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Tak nak tak nak buta jangan duduk situ. <laughs> Senang aje. Ah, uh, tak payah duduk situ, biar je. Kan. Ambil lah the whole of ah uh, botol air tu. Ambil semua benda tu. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay Um I think you can start uh, in 2 minutes. Benda ni dah boleh. Ah, uh, tengoklah jam pukul lagi 2 minit boleh start dah. Tadi ni kena tag dia Have you have you started? Dah. Klik, klik kenapa? Oh, tu dia sebab vent tu. Tak apa, tak apa, tak apa. Um, yang ini uh, nanti detail into account. It's okay. Uh, boleh, kalau dah stabilize, run saja. Ini pun kita tak ganti gas ni. Elite, elite punya dah 5,000 pokok kot dia guna. Dia orang dah lah jenis tak care penjagaan sangat. Kalau dah okey, run saja auto program. Ya, ya, ya. Sebab light is one of the thing that you learn semalam. Empat benda tu. To activate. Uh, Robisco. Ya, ya, ya. Lampu ni walaupun cerah, it's not photosynthetic light. The wavelength, the quality is not correct to trigger photosynthesis. Mm. It's it that um ada small amount of photosynthetic spectrum, but much of it actually not just untuk to illuminate the room. <laughs> Sebab in tissue culture You don't need for the apa, Vigorous growth you, Yeah, you need maintenance It stay in the flask You don't want it next morning You got one hour sahaja ke? No, no, no It's a maintenance Kalau maintenance, that's enough uh, Kalau dah kalau nampak tu Dah dah boleh lah kot like, uh, Double check Double check Make sure point tu betul Minimum waiting time betul Maximum betul Allow early, match, early matching Ah, kalau sudah dah boleh run. Ah, dah dah boleh ke? Ah, okay sudah. Duduk. That's good. Ah, all you need to do is wait. <laughs> wait. So selalunya while we are waiting this, we do the pre preparation for the next leaf. Do the tagging. Yeah. Ah, uh, whatever that you need boleh buat sekarang. Kan? Okay. Yeah. Tapi, if you plan to do 
um, CO2 response curve right afterwards, don't live too long because the final point is zero. After zero, you need to go back to the highest light to, to do response curve for CO2. This lock is quite fast. After all, you have turned on the DAT right just now. Kau pegang apa, Riz? Kenapa? Tak ada. Ambil kursi tu. Sial. Ah, terus tu. Ah, nak lalu sini pusing ikut jalan jauh. Have you have you started okay. that? Okay. So this group will start. Uh, it should take about ten minutes. <laughs> Okay, as the the curve is being formed, you can see on the screen the plotting is taking place live. That should be on just now G for for this machine. Just now, during the setting time, you set for the um, oh, this is live uh, the fluorometry as well, right? That means with this reading, automatically it will take the five PS two as well. So, in addition to light response curve, you get the five PS two as well. Not FVFM, five PS two, because five PS two is light adapt, and this is light adapt. So, two in one. Actually, three in one. You got survey measurement, you got light response curve, you got five PS two, uh, with five PS two. Of course, come the rest of it. You got uh, electron transport, you got MPQ. Yep. Yeah. If if you have limited amount of time, but you want the most of data, light response curve coupled with five PS two is the way to best way to go. Yeah, because with with this you got multiple things. FVFM you can't get it. You need to adapt. Uh, that. If you want to do that, so my advice is that you can do LRC one day first. Tomorrow do uh, FVFM because that adapt after you're done. So it, in, it increases the power of analysis because you can work on the same leaf. The same leaf you use for physiological measurement, the same leaf you send to the lab for protein analysis, elemental analysis. So the correlation is going to be super strong. The same leaf. Important to take. Okay, uh, class. Just just a reminder about your quiz. Are you done? Remember, you you got homework yesterday. Are you ready to submit, or you want to submit tomorrow? <laughs> Okay, if you want to submit tomorrow, remember to finish everything by tomorrow because at the end of today, you will get another set of assessment. Uh, sebab tu cikgu kata, jangan bertangguh buat kerja sekolah. <laughs> Lepas tu kau tengok, alamak dah kamis. 
uh, esok sing- sing- singa nak masuk home home period hari Jumaat <laughs> ok so summit tomorrow ok so finish everything uh, submit by the first break tomorrow 10am for the first day assessment and second day assessment so that I have time not do the marking Ah, uh, kau Ah, marking tu kah? Tu kah? Ah, mak mas tiri? Tak boleh nanti nanti friend tu favoritism. <laughs> boleh je mak macam tu. Nah, 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 nah. Tapi tapi uh, collect lah esok. Collect esok. Collect esok. We, 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 maybe, kalau nak buat macam tu, maybe we can collect uh, during lunch time ke, after lunch ke. Okay, okay? We'll just give the answer. You find somebody that you dislike so much, that you do the marking for her. Hmm. So, no pokok ni. <laughs> macam, <laughs> photon showers. <laughs> Engkau nak buta dari situ. Dah <laughs> terang. Dah 40%. Ha? Ah. That's that's right. That's why kita pergi to Tosan. Sebab uh, pokok ni I don't think orang baju. Bila tak budget, nitrogen depletion, siapa nak buat Rubisco? Siapa nak buat uh, LHC, Light Harvesting Compact? Semua tu require nitrogen. Ah, uh, So, we learn uh, to extract the data and then we do the interpretation. Interpretation is very fun because it tells you the story all the way to heaven. <laughs> Sabarlah kita, We do 2000 Sebab kita nak dapatkan Photo inhibition right? Let's see Rasa macam dah jadi lah tu Faham tak? Oh Eh uh, Tapi tu baru <laughs> Yang paling kanan Is the 2000 Yang pal- Yang tu Sebab dia reverse Reverse You you do it in reverse mana Not daripada kosong Ke 2000 2000 ke kosong This girl looks interesting. Is that your part? Hmm. Let's see. Your your plants uh, have higher nitrogen content than that, so it's it's a lot higher the assimilation. Hmm. You can tell by looking at closely at the leaf. When you look at the leaf here, we compare with that leaf. This leaf is actually having much uh, darker, darker color. That that one is a bit slightly yellowish. Yeah, that's so. That's that's one 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 of the uh, the sign, right? However, this is still not optimum. If it's completely optimum, you do not have this intervenal pattern. You see intervenal pattern? It should be a uh, homogeneous green. Maybe sebab orang tak baca. Jadi dia lack of perhaps magnesium, so you have this intervenal chlorosis. Sikit je lah, tak terus sangat pun. Hmm. Tapi untuk production corn, kalau nak jual kat Nelson, nak kena reject lah ni. Hmm. Okay, that's all over halfway gone. Um, this is it done? Six, 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 six. Lagi, lagi enam poin. Ni lagi, ni lagi lima poin. Ah, about the same lah korang. 
Ini bukan race ya. In the meantime, readlah pasal uh, uh, ACI itu. CO2 response curve tu. Kita lagi nak buat after this. Tak familiar? Tak familiar. <laughs> to, to, to determine uh, Rubisco velocity. Carboxylation efficiency. Kalau you focus on the carbon fixation, how much carbon is assimilated into plant body, that's important. <laughs> Kita buat guna Biological assay hmm. But Biological Boleh dapat juga di sini Pasal kita buat Rubisco assay Oh Itu Itu uh, Dia punya Quantity Of Rubisco Ini adalah Speed of Rubisco Sometimes Rubisco banyak Tapi mungkin Some of the Rubisco Are deformed Cacat It doesn't Perform just as well Yeah, yeah, memang, memang, memang macam tu pun. Yeah, so you have uh, physiology coupled with biochemistry, and then you have some agronomy, uh, dry mass, benda semua tu. Ah, uh, good. Semua, semua paper memang require tiga disiplin, minimum to to explain your finding. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Uh, statistically tiga Statistic requirement But 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 I would say Don't go for three lah Sometimes your plants Are misbehaved Like you 20 years ago So um, Go for Each replication Three If you do Three times replication Each replication Sample size Three So in In statistic There is a concept Of sample size Replication And blocking So these are three levels. So the 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 lowest level is sample size, and then you have your replications, and then you have your blockings. Blockings you do um, only when there is a heterogeneity in your um, environmental factors or your soil fertility, and so on. Yeah, if block you do not need to do the blocking, your life is much easier. You only focus on the replicates. So let's say that for your treatment, you to do three replications. And for each replication, you have three sample size. So you can have three from each. Three times three, that means for that treatment, you have nine N. Yeah. 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 Because statistic, let's put it this way. Statistic... They only care about the numbers, not biological interpretation of it. So even if it's significant, they can't validate for you whether the significance are of the common sense or otherwise. Because it's, it's mathematics number, right? You just plug in and then you run, you run, you run the analysis. What, what, whatever that you have provided, if it's significant, the equation will will uh, will say this is significant. But what actually that you did in your experiment? Did you do the sampling correctly, randomly? Is there any heterogeneity factors? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, want to know more? Go biometry. I don't want to. You know what? I shouldn't be teaching statistic because I will get angrier and angrier. Yeah, nothing pretty about that. Is it done? Is okay. Yes, I think that's done. Okay, that's done. Okay, uh, if it's done, eh, is it done? Done kita. Ini done kita. Oh, lapan baru lapan. Sorry, 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 baru lapan. I I I read di kosong. Sebenarnya lapan. Lagi empat, lagi empat, lagi empat. Ini lagi tiga. Um, once you have done this, you need to quickly turn back the light to do um, CO2 response curve. The light, just just put first uh, 200 micromole. And then, this is the curve that we, that we 
managed to generate from this machine, this plant. Can you look at the curve? That is the final point. What is the light intensity? 2000. So 2000 micromole, you get this much. But when you reduce it, what's, what's the reading here? 1700 micromole. Can you see that the estimation is higher? That means this guy has undergone photo inhibition, right? So, what about the, the, the third point? 1500, right? 1500, what about this point? Right. So, if you, if you zoom out and you were to place an imaginary line, you will see that this is a plateau, right? This three. This already kind of uh, bending like an elbow. So, you can use either of this light point within this range for your light setting in CO2 response curve. And this is what we call as saturating light points. Starting from who? Starting from 1,300. Is it okay if you want to use uh, 1,500? It's fine. Because the range is from 1,300 to 1,700. Using 1,500 is correct. Using 1,400 is correct. Because they've all fall into saturating light range for this particular leaf. So it's always recommended to start with light. Yes, yes, yes. Always. If uh, light response curve is not your concern, your concern is just you want to do the CO2 response curve, the, my advice is just use it, just, just you do it once for the sake of knowing. Just one. Do, do one so that you understand your plant photo inhibition is where. Then that will save you for the rest of the time. Because sometimes you, you base your knowledge on the literature. People use different varieties, sometimes even though same species. You know, rice, same species, or sativa, but the variety can be anything, right? Right. Okay, so what light do you want to use for this group? Stars of 500, right? That sounds like a good, good, right? In the middle, okay. So the moment that, that guy is done, turn back on the light, but don't go straight to 1500. Gradually from like you, what you did before, 200. 400, 600, but this time you can go quicker, all the way until 1500. Uh, that group, ah, kejap. Do you have this graph? Eh, lupa, pergi sana lah, kenapa datang sini? This group macam mana? Oh, the, uh, which curve? Okay. Okay. So that will be the top one, right? So it the the saturation has started since this point. This point until actually um, mean it means that the plant can deal with higher light. Yeah. So you can use two thousand, no problem. Yeah, yeah. But but uh, for for the sake of um, our experiment. Uh, lesson, you can use 1500. I think 1500 is minus one, right? 1500 is around this. Here. Okay. Still in the saturation point. Yep. So, have you turned on back the light? Okay. Go, go up gradually until you reach 1500. Yeah. Then only you can set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close this file. Create a new file for CO2 response curve or ACI. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, the range lah. Bukti dia boleh tengok dekat graph ni lah. Sebab dia dah mula straight. You you actually can, if you want to see the the true distribution or saturation, like you can see this group. Okay, jadi tengok buat ni. <laughs> The the graph the graph you can see the plateau. 
korang punya ada tiga poin saja. Uh, tapi dia punya lagi panjang poin tu. Memang plateau macam gereng kaya punya plateau tu. Okay. Light dah turn back on. Kalau dah turn back on, close the file, buka file baru. Bagi label si auto response curve ataupun ACI. Sebab kita nak buat aktiviti baru. Uh, jangan lupa naikkan cahaya tu gradually sampai dia cecah balik 1500 micromol. Can you uh, uh, show the graph earlier? Because um, this group, you want to see the graph, saturation graph, a pretty graph. Okay, you can uh, have a look at this group. Come, come, the top, the top, the top uh, curve. Uh, ambil lah gambar selebriti uh, selebriti. <laughs> Oh, the, 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 the plan is problematic. I want to awaken the the photosynthesis because one of the way to activate Rubisco the enzyme, light. Mm. Your your plants do not have this problem. So can you you can understand okay the concept of saturating light? It it's not a single point okay it's a range from which you can choose one point for your next activity which is CO2 response curve because the requirement for CO2 response curve to use saturating light. For for this curve is called biphasic curve so usually the minimum of ten the more the better. The more the better, but it takes longer. So based on experience, I don't I don't know whether any book saying this. Ten points. Ten points. Five five for the first phase, five for the second phase, more or less. Uh, so, like now you, you did twelve, even better. Can twelve points, can that's even better. Twelve, 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 twelve. 12, 12 selalunya people want to do modeling they go for many more points sometimes sampai 30 points yep. betul untuk cerita lagi sebab bila nak buat prediction modeling you need as much data as you can untuk untuk predict parameterization tu ya ya light modeling oh modeling um, to, to predict plants um, in any light environment you can use this equipment uh, by using the light response curve if some environmental condition co2 this much temperature this much and light is fluctuating between zero and 2000 what is the pattern going to look like yep yep because that curve that you showed just now even though it's still a biphasic curve biphasic curve means the curve that has um, two is oh that's not the right color Ugh. I need to rub this lah. <laughs> biphasic curve <coughs> this group tadi bukan biphasic this group uh, triphasic okay Biphasic curve. Okay. So this is what we call biphasic curve because you can put an imaginary line in between here. So this is first phase, second second phase. So this this is what we call it biphasic curve. Right. Even though your curve um, look similar, this this um this look what will differentiate between you and next guy is this thing the slope the the higher the slope means the more efficient the plant is yeah 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 so for, for example like this this group is actually like this remember just now 
So this we call as triphasic curve. Triphasic curve. Okay? And any biological um, system can achieve triphasic curve because there is a, such a concept as too much of good things. Light is good for plants. CO2 is good for plants. But when you give too much, it's going to vomit. When it vo it's, vo it's vomiting, you can detect in the form of going down. Right? Right. Okay. So, um, make sure that your light has gone up. After that, go to the your slide to set for the CO2 response curve. Can you open it? Into CO2 response curve. Open the slides. Okay. Uh, slide bawah. Yep, it's a curve. So make sure that the environment set up um, summer, except for the light. Light now you set for 1500. Okay? And then you can go to next slide. V very minimum change. Very minimum change. Uh, this should be the same. Um, and then... Yeah, you need to, the matching all, always match this. Because, you know why? Because there you are going to play with the gas in different concentration now. Gas got pressure. You know, sometimes there is a leaking, sometimes, uh, just do the matching. Right. Right, okay. Then, what else? Yeah, log file. Make sure that you have created a log file. Can you use the file before this now? You can, but it's going to be confusing. Because the Excel is going to run the number continuously. The log 1, 2, 3, just not 12. If you want to do another 12, it's going to continue 13 all the way until 24. When you want to extract your data, then you're going to blame each other. Right? Uh, to do that. Right. Go next. Nila, response curve. CO2. You can set the um, the graph into ACI. You can use the um, just now you use H, right? Maybe you want to use G. Ah, uh, if you use G, now you use H. <laughs> set it in this way so that nothing uh, will the formation of the graph live. Right? Okay. Next, Baru set can auto program. So while you are waiting for the light acclimation for your plant, you can do all of this. Okay? And you only have to do it once if you have multiple plants. It's not like you have to do it every time. Kan? Buat sekali je dia ingat. So let's see. Um, your plant now, what's the light now? 400, you can increase that now. Increase increase by 200 is fine. Because your your, your plant uh, actually quite behaving juga. Cuma dia rendah. What's the light now? Okay. I think I think you kalau dah tu uh, tu boleh increase terus sampai 1500. Your your plants memang ada higher capacity so that that should be fine. Okay. Right, pay attention to this. This is important, okay? For ACI or CO2 response curve, it it is not like light response curve. Light response curve from the highest to the lowest. This one no. It start with 400. Actually, it's not 400. Because you set for... So, betul kan? 425. It start with your current CO2 setting. Since you set 425, it should be 425. Right. And the other guy is also 425. So, you can see that. It start with 425, the current CO2. And then, it gradually go down all the way until 100. Can you add 50? I think you should add 50. All the 50, but no zero. Do not put zero. This is not light response curve. The lower CO2 point that this machine can handle confidently is 50 ppm CO2. Why, why can't be zero? When the chamber, you set zero, your environment is 450 ppm, there is a strong pressure of CO2 from the outside wants to get in. Remember osmosis? What's the law? From what to what? 
higher concentration to lower concentration, right? We want to prevent that from happening. Otherwise, it's going to blow up. This is just an uh, exaggerated story. Lah. <laughs> so we just set 50 and then immediately go back to 425 and then you go up all the way until uh, 1500 ppm CO2. Okay? This time it's no longer light. Your light stays consistent. So what's the wisdom in here? Because most plants, when they, let, let's put it this way, the whole idea is to ensure that the stomata are fully stretched. You know, if you want to go uh, up a Tai Chi and everything, you need to stretch, right? No, no, nobody want to Olympians go for sprint without stretching or warming up. When you go from 400 to 50 ppm, your plant will start to open the stomata because the light is super bright. The water is there. Why CO2 is not enough? So this causing the stomata to open. Right. And then when this stomata has opened, then only you go back to the uh, original and then go up because the, as you increase the CO2, the stomata have the tendency to close. Why? Uh, something to do with the anatomy of the stomata. Where, where is it? I don't want to go too much into the genetics of it lah. Tapi sikit-sikit boleh lah. Selalunya kalau orang cakap macam tu kan sebab dia tak tahu kan. Uh, that's not me. <laughs> I actually know stuff. <laughs> Your stomata bentuk dia macam ni. You know? Bentuk apa ni? Okay, ni kacang. Apa oh, tak? Kacang pun boleh juga. Kacang, ada orang panggil sausage. Right. Boleh je? Boleh je? So, your stomata is made up from this cell. This is a cell, a special cell called gut cell. So, two times gut cell equals one stoma. Stomata to plural. Stoma singular. Stoma means, in the Greek word, means mouth. Nak mulut ni. When you... Um, decrease CO2 this thing will start to open because this thing has the capacity to cause the water to go in and out at will because there are many ion channels got the potassium channels got the chloride, chloride channel of the negative right but as you increase the CO2 this guy also photosynthesize, okay? This guy will start to have lots of sugar in it. When it has lots of sugar in it, it becomes concentrated. Water from here will start to rush in. When that happens, this guy will start to swell. The swelling is going to cause the to become like this. The aperture will start to close. Because it swells. Just now, gemuk dan pendek. Now it becomes elongated. Why? Because the water rush in. Why water rush in? Sebab ada banyak gula. Kenapa banyak gula? Dah CO2 tinggi. Right. Right. So this is the reason. So, uh, gut cell has one of the reason dia ada ability ni sebab um, don't quote me on this here. Yeah? Because somebody already said that I'm wrong. Tapi textbook, textbook still say there uh, are the uneven cell wall thickening. It's true to some species, not all species. So, bila uneven thickening tu, bila water masuk, dia tak balloon up like a sphere. Dia balloon up like satu membonjol, satu memanjang, uh, satu melepe. Uh, and then jadilah macam ni. So, that's the reason kenapa kita buat uh, the reading macam tu. Alright? Okay? What happened to your plan? Dah 1500? That's it. Send dulu. And then, uh, minimum wait time 60 seconds. Maximum waiting time 180 seconds. Make sure 10 points minimum. Lebih tak apa yang kurang? 11. Okay. Um...
dia macam agak terkangkang di situ. <laughs> uh, maybe letak uh, 1800. Ketukar macam ni. Uh, 1000, 1001, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000,
Is it stable now? Yeah. Okay, stable stand saja. Run, run, just run. Because tadi kan dia dah uh, awaken because you did LRC, so it should be a lot easier now. Yeah, because this is not your first child. If your first first birth is going to be very struggle, can calling all grandma to help. Huh. Uh, second, third, fifth child is a lot easier. Okay, in the meantime, uh, if anybody has problem with the computer, you're not sure what to do, now is the time. Because tomorrow we're going to extract the data and we want to run the curve fitting tool. Okay? You know, if you have these skills, not only photosynthesis, you know how to do the curve fitting tool, you're going to be very precious. You tell me. Which country does it require photosynthesis? <laughs> okay. Even you live in Alaska, even in Iceland. <laughs> That's why I get to go around the world in 80 days. Okay, okay, tak ada buat kartu. Okay, ya. Ah ni, kau tidur orang ni. Shokem. Um, so this two, dia orang from Shokem. Shokem adalah company bukan jual instrumen uh, bio bio science saja. Dia ada banyak lah. Uh, uh, you know, civil people, JKR work a lot with them. <laughs> you should have brought your, your, your catalog. And I'm wondering what's the problem with the people who buy the people who buy the people who buy the Uh, so dia ada banyak uh, sensor air untuk indah water semua benda tu kan uh, IWK kan dia macam-macam ni kan for the switch tu ya yeah. uh, UK <laughs> hand started from UK oh hand hand started what ya yeah. alright okay Because they were the, the because Hansa 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 Tech um, in UK um, they they want to show me their own PP system, so I thought it's from the UK as well. <laughs> All right. I know the oxygen probe from the UK. All right, the oxygen probe. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, they um. You have done with this, so I, I, because I want to use, but sebab ramai orang tak mampu beli ni. That is a lot cheaper, like sixty percent cheaper. Dekat tengah tengah juta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kenapa? Uh, kenapa macam tu? Kenapa dah ada benda ni? Kenapa dah jodoh ni? Kenapa kenapa yang kat lelak sini? Enggak apa. Normal je program. Um, okay, pergi balik dekat uh, measurement tadi tu Patutnya edit graph ni Dah set Oh ni tak ada lagi satu Dia kena uh, versus something kan uh, Sepatutnya A versus CI Sama uh, CI Apa baru ada 
Tapi this one is all on X axis, right? Uh, jadi kalau Y axis satu. Okay. Dalam dalam instruction tu ada kan? Kejap. Can you help them? They are struggle with the graph untuk buat axis tu. Semua semua dicampak dekat X axis. <laughs> So, uh, dia orang adalah distributed untuk company Hansatek. Hansatek macam like Kojo lah tapi they have their own strength. Oh. Yeah. So, Hansatek actually they they have reached me. So, nanti pergi UK, they ask me untuk um, apa dia? Help them to organize the exhibition kat sana. Oh. Uh, <laughs> because sebab, sebab ini tak boleh measure oxygen. Uh, they have something can measure oxygen. <laughs> Uh, so it completes the photosynthesis picture. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Wow. So the the expert, I guess. Yeah. I think they have the fluorescence imaging system. Ah, yes. I, I remember in the catalog that I was I was talking to to Miss Lim earlier uh, last week untuk untuk maybe to acquire that uh, for the coming purchase RMK kan. Yeah, yeah. Actually kan you should have that. <laughs> Sebab dia dia, dia uh, whatever photoluminescence you can do do the non destructive imaging. Mm. Mm, mm. Wow. Mm. I think uh, hari tu Miss Lim cakap kalau nak demo ada satu dekat UKM tapi tak full spec tapi ada lah dekat UKM hmm. kalau nak dia, dia... <laughs> are you are you around so kalau pagi, kalau pagi ada, mungkin suruh um, Andy bawa katalog ke? Kan, suruh Andy bawa katalog so that um, she can browse through nanti. Sebab banyak equipment itu actually related to your photoluminescence study juga. Hmm. And the good thing is, they have the cheaper version of it. Macam ni kan macam high end. That's super expensive. Hmm. How how is the graph? Is it is it is it is it okay? Uh, CI intercellular CO two CI. Yes, this CI is not the Y axis is the X, right? Hmm, you should look like that. Macam tu. Tu dah betul lah tu. Oh, betul lah tu. Betul lah tu. Hmm, I think lah betul lah ni. Okay. Hmm, tapi tak betul lah kat bawah. Cepat ya. As long as dia dapat macam tu, that's correct. <laughs> Buat lah apa puasa kena dapat macam tu. <laughs> Kau you want to check dia ni tekan edit graph tu cuba tengok dia dia tekan apa dia setting apa jangan buang kau cuma observe sahaja tekan edit graph tu tengok dia setting apa sama ah sama macam tu sama sama okey okey Thank <laughs> you.
It's expensive, guys. It's expensive. For, for your for 20 minutes. Okay, I think your curve is fifty percent done. In the meantime, you can check your computer. Okay, if 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 your computer is not behaving well, this is the time to call for the assistant to help you. Because tomorrow kita nak guna kan? So make sure participant they are okay sebab esok dah nak run makro. How's how's your macro? Okay? Is it working? Okay. jenis sama survey yang sama ha, okey kan hmm. kejap itu daun yang sama ke daun ha, berbeza okey mati maksudnya daun tu memang dah tak ada ke dia ada tapi dia coklat Okay. Mm. Physically disappear lah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. 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 Can you show her the CICA ratio first? Oh, that's 
an interesting curve. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that cannot be regenerated. It's it's a one use time only. The one that can be regenerated is desiccant, both dry right or uh, the sorbe orange, the the silica gel. So the lime, no, it can't be, because uh, it involves chemical reaction. It change it change the the bicarbonate. Yeah, but the good thing is after it has exhausted, you can pour onto your plant become fertilizer, because there's so much calcium in there. It's a calcium carbonate. And it's not toxic. Dry right, the, the cobalt blue guy, it's toxic. That's why I asked to be certain with the officer how to dispose in the correct manner. I see. Mm. To regenerate the dry right or sobe, we need to use a 400 degree hour. Uh, just for the dry right, uh, 240 degree for about 3 to 4 hours. If you use um, lower temperature let's say you only use 150 degree the regular baking cookies oven you need to do it uh, even longer maybe one day eight hours and then tomorrow another eight hours yeah if it has been regenerated the the pink color should turn back to slightly bluish not completely blue like new one slightly blue slightly blue How many points you have for this? Eleven. How many? Oh. Twelve. 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 So that's number seven. Five more to go. So take this time. If your mac macros are okay, do your homework. Uh, your homeroom teacher just got released from the zoo. Um, just a reminder for tomorrow we have the consultation right and discussion if you have something ahead of time you can give today or tell give tell to the assistant if you have data I need to see ahead of time if you want you can ask pretty much anything you can ask why am I always sad uh, I can answer for that as well that check see I see ratio but you can check the too Sebab itu sebenarnya adalah kaedah kita guna untuk tahu sama ada data tu boleh guna ke tak. Hmm, kadang-kadang dia bukan salah kita, dia salah mesin tu rupanya. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
follow just those. Yeah, yeah. Run up, huh? Oh. Cuba. Run sekali lagi. Um, so, sekali tu. Okay. Um, file ni dekat mana? Okay, uh, Ramali. Ah, uh, tapi ya, ini dia ingin sebab dia amat kursus kan. Uh, cuba fit the curve. Okay, uh, pangkah. Uh, buka visual basic uh, alternate F11 mm -mm. oh <laughs> ke kena function hmm nak kena buka visual basic dia punya behind the scene tu um, ni apa eh ni ke mana ni <laughs> Dia patutnya alternate uh, F11 hmm, Dia macam quick Quick tu um, Tak, sometimes dia dia uh, The errors tu dia bagi tahu Dekat visual basic tu Excel ni dia dia ada dia punya runner dia Runner dia adalah visual basic um, Macam mana buka visual basic sini ya eh? Cuba pergi kat help, pergi kat help uh, Visual basic Oh saya tahu kat mana, sebab ini asset baru kan Dia patut ada kat developer Oh patut lah, tak ada Pergi right click kat mana-mana Kat kelabu atas tu uh, Ke bawah, bawah, bawah Bawah tak bawah, bawah sikit tu uh, Tu, customize the ribbon Customize the ribbon Pergi dekat Developer tu turn, turn, uh, tick, kanan, kanan, kanan Developer tu tak tick Dia seorang tak hijau Ah, uh, ok uh, Buka uh, Apa tu? Developer Cari Visual basic Ah, uh, tu Betul visual basic Ok Mari kita tengok masalah dia Haa uh, <laughs> Sabar Besarkan Besarkan yang ni Haa uh, Kita tengok sikit masalah dia Makro recorder Ok uh, Pergi dekat uh, Tools atas tu Tap tools tu Pergi kat reference Haa um, Solver semua dah ada Euro to Kadang-kadang solver ni dia ada dua Cuba search kat bawah Ada tak lagi satu solver Okay kata ada kata ada apa uh, Tekan ok je Tekan ok je Cuba run sekali lagi pada sini uh, Ada butang play tak Ah, uh, tekan the macro is not yet disabled Oh, dia kena disable, patutlah uh, Ok, tengok ok uh, tutup, tutup macro, bukan tutup asset, tutup macro uh, Ok, pergi kat uh, uh, File, pergi kat Options Macro Saya rasa kat Trust Center kot Trust Center, Trust Center Setting, Macro Enable Kejap ya Enable Masih kita beri Provisi Option Hmm. Cuba uncheck yang satu tu saja. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Cuba, cuba rasa sekali lagi. Ah, uh, ah, uh, boleh juga. Betul tak balik? Okay, tak aja, boleh aja. Um, uh, override aja, override aja, save aja. Yes. Sebab ni makro lah zaman zaman tu kado. <laughs> okay, cuba, cuba buka. Okay. Okay, cuba kena okay, orang makro. The makro may not be available in this world or makro may be disabled. Hmm. Bagi saya buat sekejap. Ha. Bagi pek saya buat. <coughs>
Ah uh, tengok benda tu dah siap belum? <laughs> mari 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 tengok apa masalah. Baru separuh Okay Enable Excel 4.0 macro When we are so enable Okay Hmm Ini patut memang terkata Trust access to the project object model Okay General power Tata Uh, accessibility and fun. Yang nombor dua tu kan Saya baru update Masa perlu update lagi sekali ke Dia punya second step Video second Apa macam mana Apa tu Jadi Setiap First one is to uh, To update Intel driver mm. And then the second step Update something Update Microsoft Dah basically Update ni office Office kan? Office Kadang-kadang office Dah update tu Belum Saya try update uh, Okay Mungkin mungkin kadang-kadang Sebab dia ada patches Dia kadang-kadang yeah. Patches tu dia update visual basic kan kadang <tuk> Tak payah video pergi tu <tuk> Senang je pergi kat tu uh, Pergi kat file tu Pergi kat uh, account uh, Tu update Atas uh, uh, Kalau dia kata nak tutup, uh, tutup je semua You up to date? You up to date? Dah up to date dah Dah da up to date dah Okay Okay, okay, dia dah up to date Ish, 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 ish. Tapi I have a concern jugalah sebab dia ni compatibility mode. Selalu ni tak keluar benda ni. Oh, ya hmm. Sebab dia ni ke? Dia buka dalam Excel S, X ya? Hmm. Sekejap dalam... ya. Kita tengok apa masalah dia. Sekejap. Open. Show more. Dia boleh open as uh, dia punya yeah. original version kan? Tak payah buka S, hmm. Excel, X, X. Hmm. Across. Buka S apa? Seven, open ni. 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 kita open ni. Seven, 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 ni. Compatibility mode, compatibility mode Compatibility mode, sepatutnya dah tak ada mana ni Cannot run the macro Soft using both method Macro may not be available Oh, oh macro sah disable It's still water Developer Sekejap ya Tak ada security Use relative macro security That's the macros Sekejap So, semua benda dah ada Let's run again Because the security setting, macros have been disabled To run macro, you need to reopen this robot and then choose to enable macro Hmm Hmm Maksudnya dia dah boleh buka secara secara straight lah ni tapi dia tak nak kalau saya sebab makros perorangan ni Because the source is, is untrusted So, kena pergi kat set uh, Apa tu, security ni Pergi kat option, pergi dekat Mana tak security Pergi ke trust center Trusted publisher uh, Trusted location Catalog Require option disable Biasa lah tambah ni Sekejap ya Protected view Security right Security data save Accessibility Funds Hmm. Dia masih buka compatibility tu. Hmm. 
Save as open home. Any chance any computer company? Uh, dia macam ni. Dia tak. Special computer. Tapi memang lah purchase. Sebab I got this kind of problem before dengan MPOB. Dia rupanya MPOB punya computer. Uh, tak tahulah dia punya ID. Apa tu? Dia punya IT people. Do something to that. Tapi eventually lepas tu dapat lah buat. Yeah. Tapi jenuh aku nak correct lah benda tu kan. <laughs> It's okay. I bilang orang lain pun tak apa. Sebab uh, personal computer ni sebenarnya. Oh. Ada skin ni pun ada skin kan. Oh. Tapi sebab senang orang tak ada tak tahu apa-apa. Tapi kenapa dia tak ni? Kenapa dia nak jadi compatibility mode? Tak apa-apa. Tapi kenapa dia tak ni? Kenapa dia nak jadi compatibility mode? Tak apa-apa. Tapi kenapa dia tak ni? Kenapa dia nak jadi compatibility mode? Tak apa-apa. Tapi kenapa dia tak Okay, saya try. Ah, ambil, ambil. Okay. Maksudnya yang simple je. Kita apply. Kita okeykan dia. Kita fix saya. Okay. Tak apa. Tutup balik. Buka balik. Sekejap. Just nak make sure. Dia, dia dah telah di-unblock kan. Hilang lah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tak boleh dah. Oh, apa yang kita upload tadi ah? <laughs> tak tahu lah dia kan kata option tu ada kan kadang tak ada. Dia 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 memang macam tu. Hmm. Dah oh, sama ke? Saya ambil tu terus dia jadi macam. Dia tak setuju. Apa benda tu? Oh tak ada tak ada. Uh, ini boleh yes ya kalau Intel selalunya soalan tu. Ha. Uh. Ah. Uh, processor. Ah. Cuba buka Excel tu tengok apa 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 error dia keluar. Yang ni boleh jalan background. Ha, ha typical 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 je. Ha, typical install je. Okey. Cuba buka Excel tu. Excel ni dekat uh, desktop ke? Ha, tak apa kita cuba dulu. Okey, uh, tutup tutup. Buka tutup, uh, tutup balik. Uh, Hmm, dia dekat dalam folder apa? Download ke? Okey, kecil kan? Kecil kan jangan tutup lagi, right click. Pergi kat properties, uh, show op more options bawah sekali. Uh, properties bawah sekali. Ah uh, tu, unblock tu. Unblock. Ah uh, unblock tu, apply. Okey. Tekan run sekali lagi dia akan bagi error. Tak apa, buka yang tadi tu. Tekan je lagi dia bagi error. Okey. Tutup. <laughs> ah, buka buka sekali lagi dia patut okey dah. <laughs> ah, cuba buka buka sikit okey. Afid. Ah, Ye. <laughs> dia boleh beli memang ada. <laughs> Rasanya kaedah tu tak ada dalam Microsoft punya handbook kot. <laughs> nah, sebab saya ingat dulu MPOB pun dia ada macam ada isu macam tu juga. Hmm, tapi itu memang sebab komputer dia beli. Orang-orang IT dia yang macam dia tak nak bagi install Mario punya game ke dia, dia. Tapi ni patutnya tak masalah lah kot Anyway, ok Done, done Ok, if you are done Let's learn how to extract the data Because we still have time Eh kejap, nombor apa? 548 548? <laughs> apa? Oh, open space to matter. Alright. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay, before 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 you go back, I just I just want to teach one more tip and trick to open your stomata in case your plants are misbehaving just like you. Because when stomata are closed, nothing much can happen. But you are in emergency. I need to get this reading now. How to trick the stomata to um, open? Okay. <clears throat> you can come back here. You need to close the file. We are not going to take any reading, okay? We're just going to watch on the screen. This screen lah. That group, that group. So, stomata. Can, 
try try to claim in in any leaf yang tak berapa ni. Ah, uh, close one. Bet 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 bet. This group, can you please close your file? Close your file. Okay, close your file. And maybe for this activity, you can reuse the chili. Because we know chili tak buka so mata kan? Ah, kita nak trick dia untuk buka. Ini tadi kita dah tahu dia buka. Ni lagi lah, buka cahaya depan mata. Tuh, 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 tuh. And stomata stubborn to open is the very characteristic of C3 plant in the afternoon. Hmm, C3. C3 ni lah, ni C3 lah. <laughs> afternoon cannot open eyes. <laughs> okay, pick any leaf and then um, you can um, masukkan terus dalam tu. Tapi sekarang ni the last point of CO2 is very high. You need to bring the CO2 to regular reading, 425. Right. Yeah, light, 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 light tu boleh kita start seribu dulu, takut dia burn. Uh, so, CO2, 425, light, uh, 1000 saja. This group do the same. CO2, rendahkan, 425, light, 1000 saja. Okay, let's do this final activity for today. Okay, you need to clamp, you need to clamp first. Clamp and set the environmental correctly. Yes. Okay. It have have you clam? Okay. Your stomata was any uh, this group. Wait for this group. Any plan? You know you can use um this leaf new leaf on it. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Ah, ah, lagi tertutup. Dah kau gelap kan dia? Hmm. 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 Ada ada potensi dia negatif. Hmm. Hmm. Ke ke belakang sikit. Ah. Can you, can you help this group sebab dia nak ah. How how this group dah clam? So, mata macam mana? Negatif ke? Negatif bagus. That's what, we, that's, that's what we want. Negative or a very, very minimum positive. Because we want to learn how to trick the stomata to open. Tak apa nak follow. Uh, pergi ke graph. So, sekarang ni, graph tu cuba unzoom sikit. Boleh tengok satu minit yang lalu ataupun dua minit yang lalu. Jangan zoom sangat. Nanti kita tak nampak dia punya kesan. Unzoom. Okay, the graph that we want to focus is the green. If you don't want to see the other purple graph, boleh disable. Kalau tak mengganggu, tak apa, biar aja. Boleh, boleh. Tapi kalau terasa tak ganggu, tak apa. Sebab kadang-kadang orang memang nak tengok foto sedih-sedih all the time. So, if your stomata is negative or very minimum positive very likely your assimilation going to be negative remember okay this is not something that you can see because tomato are microscopic pores on the plant surface okay but you can see the effects of tomato closing on the machine right have you claimed how the tomato negative that's good <laughs> Okay, what's the, what's the light? 1,000. CO2, 425. This group, what is the light? 1,000. Uh, CO2, 425. Okay, listen up. Right. There are five things that you can do to open or treat stomata to open. 
you can do some of them or you can do all of them. Number one is light intensity. Um, light intensity um, means that you increase the photon's density so that the energy is there for the gut cells to photosynthesize. Remember, gut cells have chloroplast. Therefore, they can photosynthesize. Not as much as mesophyll cells that you learned from yesterday, but still, they can create some amount of sugar. right? So, how much can you increase? Before we do any intervention, write down first the uh, current uh, GSW so that you know how much it has increased by doing this trick. Uh, uh, jot down, jot down dulu. Berapa? Um, group, group, group chili. Uh, ni berapa? Uh, Dudu chili kan? Your group tak ada nama ke? Apa? Group, it's not for chili. You cannot use chili. Sauce. Sauce. Uh, <laughs> your group sauce. <laughs> yes. Group okay. sauce. Uh, your, your, your GSW berapa? Original. Zero point? Zero to five. Ah, uh, group sana apa nama? Eh, nama group dulu. Nanti confuse. Tak, Maggie. Ah, Maggie. 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 Ah. Soft Maggie. Okay, what's your original GSW? Zero point? Zero zero? Apa dia? Seven nine. Oh, lagi tidur. Alright. Okay, we we do progressively. Okay, right now kita tengok kita buat first. Now currently the light intensity is one hundred, eh one hundred, one thousand. Let's try to increase. Ada uh, kira sendiri. Increase light tambah twenty percent. Percent light. <laughs> Okay. Other things do not change. Just the light intensity. From 1,000, uh, darab lah 1.2. Okay, 1,200. Okay. So, let's wait for uh, a few. Don't worry kalau dia tak increase. Kita buat sikit-sikit. Alright. Lepas tu, kita buat lagi apa? Yang kedua, light quality. You see, one of the characteristic of gut cells, they, on the surface of the gut cell, ada, ada, ada padam dan gambar sausage tu. On the surface of the bean-shaped cells, full of blue light receptors. Okay. Yeah, phototropin. Yeah, phototropin. So, this blue light receptor, the moment they receive the blue light signals, it will trigger the gut cells to swell, to open, right? At the moment, what is the percentage of your blue light? Uh, pergi kat environment, pergi kat light tu balik, tengok the light setting. Ni. Ah, uh, uh, ni, sini, berapa? 10. Alright. Change it now to... 85% red, 15% blue. Change it. Change it now. So, kita tukar sekarang. 85% red tambah 15% blue. Ah, sama kat sini. Red, 80%. Blue, 20%. Okay. <coughs> the, you know, blue blue light is quite a, a magical light. Actually, it's not only for plants; it's for human. But before human, you shouldn't be receiving too much blue light, especially uh, in the evening. Otherwise, you will be having trouble to sleep. Or next morning, you're going to be super cranky. Why? Because remember, you got the cone cell at the back of your retina that have a tremendous impact on your melanin production and also your hormonal balance. Okay, so, you know, I, I noticed this is in, in Japan. 
some company in Japan actually during the daytime they have two, two switches actually during the daytime they use the regular white light because this is full of blue tapi bila dah macam towards the later of the day they use the warm light so that is not messing up with the workers um, uh, circadian rhythm or the biological clock some yeah sometimes very minimum so that facilitate the release of hormones to control the cortisol because they want the the employer want the workers to be ready to work again next day if they they cannot properly rest through the night yeah di malaysia ada orang care uh, <laughs> nobody care right? okay so that's about light that's a light blue color oh so lupa nak tunjuk benda ni uh, Nah, ini lah blue light ni phototropin. Ah, uh, benda tu. Yeah, right. That's why you increase the blue light. Okay, what else can you uh, do? Number three, you reduce the CO2. You have been given the plant saturating light, right? One thousand two hundred. Lepas tu, you have increased the blue percentage. By by all meaning, photosynthesis should be happening at the boom boom rate right now. Now you 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 the plants are super hungry for the substrate ingredient photosynthesis. You slash the ingredient. The ingredient is CO two, right? Give less CO two. Change the CO two from four to five to one five zero. Yeah, you starve the plants. <laughs> okay. So make it make it less now. Minus uh, CO2, CO2, 150 ppm. Bersama CO2, 150 ppm. Okay, change that. Remember, okay, whatever that you set ni, later on when you are ready to take measurement, you can go back to the original uh, setting. Right. And finally, the other, the second last is the increased high humidity. What is the current humidity reading for your machine? Sixty percent for this group. What about this group? Rh, Rh, berapa persen? Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Saya ketak tadi. <laughs> kena kena set lah kalau set dekat uh, RH tu kan ada you set you should you should set tadi tapi tak apa uh, ok sekarang ni ni 58 yang ini 60% you increase yours to 60% you increase yours to 70% so ini increase uh, apa ni Plus, plus 10% RH. Ini pun sama. Plus 10% RH. So, this is number 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, dah? Dah? Dah. Now, check the your plants. Um, what are the plant? Not, not only you touch the surface of the media. Use your finger or maybe you, you, you create a hole using a pen. Put your finger at least one inch in. Or sampai hilang dua ruas dua jari ini. Rasa masuk dalam. Yes, rasa. Rasa. If if you feel that the moisture doesn't stick to your finger after you have taken it out, you need to water it. Ini cara orang kampung lah nak tengok moisture cukup ke tak. If I'm going very scientific, nanti nak kena buat hygrometer. Ah. Masa. Okay. Masa. What about this group? Pasal tak? Ada tak moisture tu lekat? Satu lagi cara adalah From that depth, ambil sikit media Lepas tu form into ball 
squeeze the ball. Kalau ada water droplet, that means saturating lah. Kalau tak ada water droplet, sila siram. Ah, ah tak boleh ball, kau kena siram. <laughs> Oh, uh, the mechanism is pokok yang ke, uh, kekurangan hydration dia ada produce ABA hormon from the root. Root produce ABA hormon. ABA hormon bersifat inhibitory. Bila dia produce from the root and then it travels up to the leaf, it will cause the stomata to close. So you want to dilute the effect of ABA, right? So Siram dia supaya ABA signals is diluted or dampened for for a bit. But is that relatively instantaneous? Yes, yes, quite instantaneous. Nanti kalau impractical, you can do the siram first. Ini kan belajar. Buat satu-satu yang ni macam hujung lah, nampak? Tapi the reality of it, do that first. Right. Uh, siram dulu. <laughs> Uh, mm, mm. Tapi the reality selalunya kita akan siram dulu Yes Oh, siram the soil or media only Do not shower the plant with your love Nobody wants it Because, Yes, yes Nanti nanti benda lain jadi uh, You don't want that Okay, dah siram? Dah siram? Dah siram? Okay Now just leave it sekejap Lepas tu just tengok Agak-agak dah increase belum? Okay, I give, I give, I give one minute. After one, after one minute, I'll ask. Apa benda read, uh, the current reading? I think I'll graph too. You should be referring to GSW now, the green, the green one. We don't care about the estimation now because sekarang ni dah petang. Pokok ni pula dah apa dah pregnant and bearing babies. We don't expect the estimation to be so high. But stomata is uh, tak sensitif dengan tu. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh, that depends on the species. Yeah, that depends on the species. Yeah, that's why you can know the benchmark for your plants during between. 9 to 10 a.m. You take the measurement, survey measurement during this, when they are stable, actually that's the benchmark. Because waktu pagi, banyak blue light naturally. You don't have to give the blue light. Pokok memang banyak blue light. Lah. Alright. Alright. 30, 30 seconds. And then kita, kita ambil reading. I thought I want to mirror. Yo yo stomach tak macam mana? Ah tu buka lagi tu. In in nature kan sebenarnya pokok yang C3 tak akan behave macam ni. Sebab sekarang ni dah petang lagi pun dah pukul 4 dah asar dia tak tak ada tak ada tak ada. Ini memang Uh, bagi cahaya alone kalau merah saja belum tentu dia respon. Ya ya ya. Ya ya. Tapi kalau pagi even without you do anything dia akan terus naik. Uh, sebab apa kan petang. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Okey, bagi nama group 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 uh, Megi. Berapa Megi? 0.5 0, 2, 1, 4, 8. Ah, dah, dah cukup lah. <laughs> ah, tolong kira berapa percentage increase. Okay, this group berapa? 0.33. Itu je? 3. Ah, 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 kira berapa? Ah? Ada 0 lagi. Ambil 0. Ah, kira berapa persen increase? Kira, 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 kira. Uh, uh, me, apa Maggi Maggi group berapa persen increase? Sambadi tolong kira berapa persen? 1.3 persen. 
1.35% Sikit ya <laughs> This group 33 33% increase Betul ke 1% Sedih ke Kau, Are you sure My my brain cakap salah Takkan 1% Eh hey, korang ni Tolong kira elok-elok Daripada 0.079 Increase per 0.28 Berapa? Berapa persen increase? Ha, 100 171 <laughs> persen lah I, eh, I know this is not jabatan matematik Tapi janganlah lampas kupang sangat <laughs> Oh tengok 171 persen Ini Okay ni sebenarnya memang dah tinggi dah From the beginning You see how with the some knowledge in physiology, it can save your day. Right, right, right. Okay? Right. So, if you are happy with this kind of stomata opening, and you want to do your regular measurement, revert back all the setting to your original survey setting. And then, terus sampai measurement. Sebab, if you, if you wait any longer, nanti dia tutup balik. Haa. Uh. Actually under 2 minutes hmm. sebab, sebab 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 mata dia dah tak larat dah kan <laughs> you you are pumping drugs to it <laughs> yeah 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 semua ni trick oh by the by the way by the way if you want to publish this kan this do, you don't have literature for this now ini my recipe mas, during my student time <laughs> I I created this recipe masa masa student. Ma <laughs> and and it happened to work because I I gave this recipe to postdoc. Uh, I was working with a German German postdoc. Lepas tu uh, they tested dekat pokok dia. Oh actually it works. It's only not working on rice. It works on other plants as well. Good. Tapi dalam manual tak ada recipe ni. <laughs> Oh macam cakap tadi lah Untuk reality sebenarnya siram dulu Siram dulu Siram dulu Lepas tu yang lain-lain tu Boleh uh, tak kisah mana Sometimes you already have a high humidity Kalau humidity tu dah high Tak payah tukar betapa Like I said You don't have to do all five step Right You can use whatever you think Oh my plant would respond to this Usually people uh, will just change the light intensity Dan juga bagi extra blue That alone is enough for main, uh, most plant Kan uh, Tak payah nak kacau-kacau yang lain sangat lah. Right. Okay. Okay. What time? Dah. Pak suku dah. Any question? Any question? Any regret? <laughs> <laughs> eh. Homework. Aku minta esok. Ya. Yeah. I think homework sebab tak tahu lah. Ha? Okay, okay. So we 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 okay. That's a question that that do tiga orang tanya saya. Saya cakaplah. How do we? How can you know the opening is decent enough for your plant? Number one, you need you you need to understand your plants like your lover. You know the morphology. You know the smell. You know the texture. You you know everything even without saying. Kan? Your lover tarik muka without saying, you go to get the life. Kan? It goes without saying. Right. Dia kata tak nak sebenarnya. Dia nak. <laughs> dia kata, entah apa, ikutlah. Uh, itu maksudnya, jangan cek pasal. <laughs> so, you need to know the benchmark. Cara untuk tahu benchmark adalah, ambil survey measurement pada waktu antara 9 ke 10 pagi. Ini untuk Malaysia ya, bukan untuk negara lain. 9 ke 10 pagi tu is the prime time Waktu tu stomata reading tu That is the best stomata for your plant Buat sekali je pun dah cukup Macam lab response curve lah Buat sekali je kan sebab nak tahu uh, saturated point tu So you know the benchmark for your plant Then when even when you have other experiment Dealing with the same plant You got the base You know the base For rice, this is low This is low, this is low for rice Rice can go like two times this, three times this. Right? Because sebab apa? Sebab rice a semi-aquatic plant. Dia duduk 24 jam dalam air. Tak kisah stok, apa, apa stok mata buku, apa nak kena tutup, buka saja. Tapi the, your plant just now duduk dalam air ke? Tak kan? Uh, jadi sebab tu tak boleh ikut orang. Kalau orang kata, oh, stok mata kena 0.1 uh, millimole. Tak. Tak betul. 
Kan? Right? Okay? Boleh? Jawab soalan? Any question lagi? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Matching, match, matching uh, for survey, you do it once at the beginning of your experiment before you log any data. Log 0 to do the matching once. And then if you do the rest of your experiment is just survey measurement. There, the reason you do matching because there is a, a gas change abruptly. More than 100 ppm of CO2 change, then only matching needs to, to be done. So, if you do a regular survey measurement or you do light response curve, matching actually is not needed. But as a good practice, uh, if you are in the field, I will uh, re um, remind the student to do the matching every 30 plants or so. You have been taking a measurement that about 30 leaf, right? Do just the 31st plant before you do the measurement, do a quick matching. Yeah, just just to tell the machine you need to be properly calibrated. Right. If you do the ACI before this, just now, you don't have to do the matching because the matching is done by the machine. The machine will do it for you. Right. Right. So so you are safe in that sense. Right. Okay. In any way, uh, other than that, it's fine. No need to do so so many times. Okay. Good. 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 Yay, yay. Eh, banyaknya tanya soalan. Uh, uh, homework tu, kan aku tambah lagi soalan. <laughs> okay. Can you submit the homework tomorrow? Okay. Have you identified your enemy? Because your enemy will do the marking for you. <laughs> That's how we know your mark is yours truly. Yeah. No bias. <laughs> Okay, Natimo, uh, I think we can wrap up for today. We can dismiss the class. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright? Okay, see you. Okay, okay.